Hey, so I thought we'd do something a little bit different for Susie and friends today. The only friend I have with me today is you, and there's a very good reason for that. I thought I'd show you how I made something that we used a lot on a program from <clears throat> several years ago that your folks might have watched when they were little. It's called You and Me. Get it? Yeah, we made Play-Doh and we used it all the time. And this stuff is so good for anybody who's using it. You can make it into any shape. You just don't eat it. It's not that kind of dough, okay? Right, well, let's show you how to make it. And then we can have some fun. In this big bowl here, I have got two cups of water already. I'm just gonna put one more cup in. The thing with this water, it is boiling hot. Into the water goes some food colouring. Don't put too much in, just a, just a little bit to begin with. You can always add more in later. Doesn't look good. Okay, the next thing we need is some oil. I'm going to use four tablespoons of oil. And we need some cream of tartar as well. One cup of salt. And this is the main reason why you can't eat this dough. Well, can't eat in quantities. It doesn't taste very nice. And with this much salt in it, it's not very good for you either but the salt helps preserve it, helps it last. Now, what else do I need? I've got the water, the oil, the food colouring, the cream of tartar, the salt. Now I just need the flour. And I've got two cups of flour here. You mix it in gradually once all the other ingredients are all mixed together and that salt has dissolved. That's why you use boiling water. That makes the process much quicker. That's all mixed together. So, we'll put the flour in next. And just stir to mix it in. If you're really careful, you could help an older person do this. But the main thing is the boiling water. There's no point in getting burnt. You do have to be really careful, even as an adult. Okay. Now I need four cups of flour. So I've got two in there already. I need another two cups of flour. And we just keep on stirring. The more flour you put in, the harder it is to stir. There. That's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna need a wee bit more flour, but I'm gonna let it cool down first, and then I can see. Yeah, it's looking pretty wet. So I'll add some more flour, but I also need it to cool down. So I'll put it aside and we can have a go with this Play-Doh here. Once it's nice and cool, it's fantastic. It's so smooth, it's soft, and you can do just about anything with it. It's great for hands of all ages and sizes. Just even squishing it. But, like my daughter made for me, you can turn it into just about anything. A little teddy bear she made. There's a, a rolled up snail. And she got the cutters out and she made some teddy bear heads. You can make anything you like. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the recipe up on our website so you can go and find that and make it at home. Just make sure you've got an older pair of hands working with you with that hot water, okay? And enjoy. We'll see you next week. We'll have a friend then too. You, me, 
than somebody else. See ya. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.